found the bat caves. Straight up ahead. We're going into the belly of the beast. Yeah. You're fucking animal in the closest order here, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of them. It's pretty gnarly, man. We're literally walking out on a pillar right now that's hundreds of feet high. Smith Road, okay. Fucking gnarly journey. Yeah, you gotta slow right down. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, you weren't lying. That is a gnarly friggin' road, dude. Gnarly turn. Three kilometers. Three kilometers on this road, all right. It's far away stop. Nope. On McCluskey Road? Yep. Dope. I think it's still stone road. Yeah. They would think you want to go right. Yeah. You want to go straight. Cave Road. Word. Cave Road. Oh, it's called Cave Road. <laughs> no shit, and this is where the road kind of gets sketchy. Well, it keeps going. Is there going to be like an area for a park on yeah, the side and shit? Park, yeah. Okay. If we can make it to where I made it, which wasn't insane, there's just like yeah. it's a little deeper and shit. I'm not sure about water because there's a swamp you might have to go through. Yeah. Word. All right. Let the adventure begin. Wooden bridge. So this is the parking spot. As you can see, there's lots of room. I'm with G Money, Mark Radden. He is my co-pilot for today. He's actually gonna show me where these bat caves are. I've been there before, so. He knows what's up. I know how to get there. Yeah. It's tarps off only though. Tarps off? Do I have to take off my shirt? Yes. Oh shit, dude. So like essentially you could drive. Yeah. But the trail essentially begins here. Okay. So this is where you probably got a cool shot of some danger. Okay. Not sure how like I'm in like a uh, like arcade video game. Yeah. Like with this. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Zelda. Mark's just Instagramming right now. So uh, uh, you're gonna come to the trail, you're gonna wanna hang a left. Basically every fork you wanna go left on me. Okay. Basically everyone. We were just in there. Don't go left on this one. So, yeah, it, get, it might get you there, I don't know. But if you go right, that's the way to go. Yeah, I went this way last time. And I don't know, that one just didn't look inviting, you know? You look down the path and you're like... And it's just keep out too, like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. Yeah, like, yeah. Is there a stop sign actually right here? Yeah. That's... Oh, because I guess you would go straight into that, I guess? That's the one where I didn't go left. Okay, and then the rest, you pretty much go left? Yeah. Okay. Dark path. Yeah. Oh, so we just did a little detour right here. Okay. So... So we were, there's stops on there, we just did a little detour up and around. Yeah, too much, too swampy there. Fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. So right now we're just dodging the mud. Alright. Yeah. Stick to the main trail. Yeah, he's kind of, where's the main trail right there? To the right. You kind of, but I think it links up to that trail. Yeah, that, yeah, because originally you would go straight. You go kind of that, well, if you hit this, because this is, that's going to be boggy. So yeah. you can kind of go straight that way and take a right in there. And that's how you Don't get. Don't go left, left then. Yeah. So you get to this area, again, the trail. That's the trail right over there. It's all different because the fucking bikes and shit come through. 
The what comes through? Oh, bikes, motorbikes and stuff? Yeah. So on the way back, we just gotta look for that opening over there. So we pretty much went like towards the right, eh? In this area. Straightish right. We're just trying to wing it because, as you can see, dealing with this crazy creek right now. Crazy creek that fucking these four wheelers. Oh fuck. Change. Okay. I see this definitely how like this could be confusing. Yeah, if you hit something like that, now it's like three three options, but yeah. you just gotta kinda it's a main path. You know which one sorta. And if you have this photo, it helps because there should be like a small little lake over here. Yeah. You should be getting close to, so if you know the trail's going that way, you're kinda good. So Oh I see a lake. <laughs> right, you can see a lake through those trees. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna go end up twisting. Word. So I wonder if that probably makes uh probably does, but Oh this trail right here. Oh just stay left. Stay left except for that one right. Yeah. And then that one center. Oh yeah, and the one center. Yeah, they use your trail definitely. Yeah. Note to self, Jack. Yeah. We're more hardcore though. And then I think both work. Here last time. Yeah, so we just hung a left. There's like a rope. I think that's part of the trail marker, that orange tape. Yeah, no, here we're gonna start we're at that cliff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you basically, you just keep kind of going west. Do you have so many good shots of your back? <laughs> you got a good back. I'm working out, man. <laughs> now it starts getting steeper. All right. I know you're getting there. Sign. Yeah. yeah, so we kind of just hang on left, it's following the trail. Yeah, there are like no mosquitoes here, eh? Yeah. All the bats. Yeah. So, we go to the back caves, we go that way. So we're just going left up here. Oh, the back caves are straight ahead? Yeah, right in here. Oh, awesome. Oh, this photo looks familiar. Dude, look at all these massive rocks, eh? Yeah, they just broke off. Uh... Crazy, look how big that one rock is, dude. That must have just came from up there. Pat's pushed it out. Yeah, Pat's pushed it out. That's funny. Found the back caves. Well, Mark always knew where they were, but straight up ahead. Dude, they look sick. You think it'll echo? Echo! Echo! So, we're just at the entrance of the back caves, as you can see. They're deep down there. We got some headlamps. Gonna check out some stuff. Hopefully, you see a bat. That'd be cool. Yeah, hopefully. That's the game plan. Something you don't want to do is go in here in the winter because your body temperature will raise the bat's senses and it will essentially tell them it's time to stop hibernating and they'll come out and die. So, you'll kill them all. We don't want to do that. So be responsible, all right? Should I put a shirt on too? Just want to get your back too, you know? No, dude, my back's not as defined as your back, dude. How good do I look with the headlamp on my head? Wait for it. Oh yeah. Dude, you look sick. Do I have sick tech? Lights on, <laughs> skills on. <laughs> We're going into the belly of the beast. Yeah. Hopefully there isn't a fucking piece. Hopefully. 
Oh man, you already noticed the temperature dip in. It's nice. Your fucking animal is supposed to order here, okay? Please. <laughs> We're friendly. Yeah. Dude, I didn't even mean to bring headlamps. Oh, whoa, dude. I feel like it doesn't even go like Got far in, eh? Last time you said you couldn't go in here because of. Uh, I, I didn't come anywhere close to. This. Make sure water doesn't fall on my camera. Oh, I like I and I get some sick or I turn into like a vampire. And we're like new mood. Yeah, it smells like algae in here, eh? Yeah, there's a lot of things. You see any bats up top? No. So how far in are we, Mark, roughly? Oh, you can still Maybe see. Maybe 100 it. feet. Yeah. This big fucking front just came in. You didn't stop in here. <laughs> well, I got one bottle of water. I got one too. I don't know if I fucking want to go over there. Do you want to go freak out? I feel like... Monsters or something, dude. That would be. Shit right now, you know? We'd know if there's something. I can't tell if it just closes up or what. It's like super steam. It's pretty gnarly, man. Yeah, dude. You see how far into it the top's way up there. I wonder if I can get like. Better light. Just how, uh. Yeah, I could do it. But like, sick how it glows up there. Do you check that? Check out my camera. Yeah, and they look straight up. Oh, oh well. Wow. Dips down under? No, no, it doesn't dip. It's like a rock over there. Fucking like misty. Yeah. I don't want to think it's like misty, but I feel like it's like a gas. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, is that? I think that silver is poop. I think so too. You won't just lick it. Just take a big lick. No. You know why I think it's poop? Because the movie uh, surfs up the penguin. Oh shit. And you go and they fall in that goop out here, and there's like poop falling in there. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, there's writing? Yeah. Like native writing? People's names. They wrote in the fat poop? I'm assuming so. I don't want to do it, man. I'm not writing the bat poop, dude. Yeah, we're almost... I don't know how far in. We're probably about where... Right. Can't see the entrance of the cave now. We're pretty far in. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, we're pretty far in. Yeah, we're pretty far in. Yeah, we're pretty far And this is how far we're probably going to go because it gets super tight. Can you film in there for a second, Mark? Just kind of see how... I'm not going into that. No, I think it really kind of drops. That's a, it's a death wish. You can kind of see some light. That's how far I'm. We're probably about, I don't know, 300 feet, 400 feet Maybe in. Maybe 500. Maybe 500. We're pretty far in. Like we can't, we really can't see the entrance of the cave. Want to turn off the headlamps just to see? We're gonna turn off the headlamps right now. Yeah, see, it's pitch black. Bats. Like how many bats? Say that again. There'll be thousands of bats in here. In the wintertime? Yeah. Right now, they're all sort of hunting, right? Like, yeah. Then they come and hibernate here, so. And that's why there's that pink sh that silver shit everywhere. Really. Right. I'm gonna Google that later. Yeah. It's like hard to walk. It's kind of sketchy because the rocks are real slippery. Yeah. Dude, I feel like a caveman right now. I'm just going to pretend I'm a caveman right now coming out. 
run up that paleo diet, living in the caves, yeah. just eating meat. And I'm on that bird shit, fat shit diet, dude. I like the bad shit for protein. Yeah, I'm on that bird shit diet. I'm not. We gotta make sure, dude, we wash our hands before we eat, eh? Yeah. It's uh, pretty crazy because it's like up here, it's really hot. Like when we were down there, it was pretty chilly, eh? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, right goosebumps and shit? Yeah, it was, it was cold. You can feel my skin, it's cold. Yeah, but then when you come up here, literally like every step you take, it's just it's like, it's, right now it feels like I'm walking into a sauna. Tell with uh, my sunglasses. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, on the inside, you see how foggy it is? It was real damp down there. So now we're just heading back to go to this lookout. Oh, that's for sure <laughs> Lord of the Rings. You weren't lying. Yeah, Lord Mark's like, yeah, we're about to enter Lord of the Rings. We're basically on the movie set for Lord of the Rings. We're like walking between like two, oh, almost fell. We're walking between like two friggin' pillars. Oh, wow. Yeah, fuck yeah. So we were just down here. We climbed up all the way up here. There's the entrance of the hike. Like, check out that view. We're gonna go to that ledge right there and get a sick photo. I thought it'd be super cool to like, come up here and set up tents and stay the night. Oh yeah, but like pick up your garbage though. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would be sick for real. Get hammered, but I got to, like, I got to put a fence up. Yeah. <laughs> or like tie myself to like a tree. <laughs> yeah. It's on the edge. I'm like sketched out walking on these rocks. But if you're gonna die on these rocks and you're like you're you're just gonna die anyway, you know? <laughs> We're literally walking out on a pillar right now that's hundreds of feet high. Ow. You're right there, Marky? Yeah. Just giant crack down the middle. right there we were just on that